So, making money with drums. I'll skip over the obvious drummer joke where the punchline is always the drummer making money by delivering pizzas, and I'll try and cut right to the useful information. Um, before that, though, I want to just disclose that I am, of course, not the ultimate authority in making drumming your career or making money playing drums. It's something that I decided when I was probably 16 I was interested in pursuing, and I wanted to be as pragmatic as possible when pursuing it. So I have have made money playing drums in a lot of different ways, and I just want this to be a document for anyone that might be interested in doing the same, either part-time, full-time, maybe you're already an adult and you're looking to get into playing drums for money, maybe you are a kid or maybe you're a teenager and you're wondering if this might be a career path for you. This is not meant to be an authoritative what's what on making drumming a career, but hopefully it can at least get your thought process started or at least give you some ideas on whether it is something you're interested in or or not and how you might go about it. So first of all, you're going to have to decide, do you want to do this full-time or do you want to do it part-time? Do you have other interests and other skills that you might do most of the time or part of the time? And then will you play drums part-time? Um, or do you want your life to only revolve around drums and have 40 hours a week be dedicated to drumming, whether it's performing, recording, working in a drum shop, or any of these other ideas that we're going to discuss? You also will want to consider how much money do you want to make? And I know this seems like a silly question because of course you want to make as much money as possible, but I think depending on specifically what you want to do with drums, there is inherently going to be a trade-off between what you actually want to spend your time doing and how much money you're going to make and what kind of lifestyle you want to live. Um, if you have a family, if you're planning on starting a family. I know these might seem like big questions for some of you that might be just looking for ideas on how to make a quick buck playing drums, but Again, I'm trying to come at this from a pragmatic perspective, and it's the sort of thing where you might want to actually think like, okay, how much money realistically am I going to have to make for the sort of life that I want in the future? So I'm gonna try and use actual numbers here so you can roughly kind of calculate what you might expect to make as either a part-time or a full-time drummer. So let's actually get into some ideas. And the first one is the obvious one. This is what most people are thinking of when they say they want to make money with drums or playing drums, that they want to tour the world or they want to play gigs as frequently as possible playing original music. So this is one avenue that can make you little to no money or it can make you a ton of money. Obviously, when we're thinking about this, we're usually thinking about some of our favorite artists that are making um, a great or at least a really good living touring around either regionally, uh, nationally, or internationally. And of course, the sky's the limit there. We've got everyone from The Weekend Warrior who's really just barely paying for gas all the way up to Ringo Starr, who, I don't know, is probably the, the richest drummer alive. And hopefully you don't need me to tell you that if your goal is to be a touring musician and play lots of really high profile gigs with lots of people attending and you making lots of money, that is not something that I or anyone else can guarantee you. And that shouldn't dissuade you if that is your goal. Personally, that was never ultimately my goal, although it's something that I certainly wouldn't mind experiencing, but touring arenas and being basically a rock star or a jazz star or whatever style of music you're interested in, that's not something that anybody can guarantee you. And there are certain steps that you would want to take to make that actually happen, but if you're looking for a realistic, grounded way to make a living as a musician, I would at least recommend not putting all of your eggs in that basket. Now this idea tends to kind of be controversial, so I'm not at all telling you not to follow your passion, and lots of people feel very differently about how hard you should chase a dream and what dreams are worth chasing, and I'm certainly not here to tell you what your dreams should be or how you should chase them. I'm really trying to kind of bring things down to earth and just talk about realistically <laughs> what you could expect to make from uh, certain gigs. So let's talk about, for me, what's more realistic, which is playing in a band that plays original music and maybe playing locally and playing small regional tours. Playing original music, I on average tend to make anywhere from nothing to a few hundred bucks for a single gig. So um, I would say anywhere around four or $500, if I'm making that money playing original music, 
that's great. That's a good gig. I would say more often playing original music just around town, and this is in the Seattle, Washington area, you might expect to make anything from 40 to 150 bucks. Or you might make nothing. And in fact, you might pay to load up all of your gear, practice, pay for gas, get to the gig, and you might make absolutely no money. And again, this tends to be controversial because people want to understandably be paid for their hard work and their effort. But if you're playing original music, Again, we need to sort of understand the economics of this and think about who is showing up for your show and how much are they paying to be there. So if you are playing to mostly empty rooms, then there isn't necessarily an economically sound reason that you should be paid a certain amount of money. Now this brings me to the second idea, which is that you could play in a cover band or what uh, I would call a function band. So a function band would play like weddings or other parties or corporate events or casinos or anything like that. And for those gigs, those are actually fairly reliable if you get in with the right band and you can actually make decent money doing it. Recently, past couple of years, I've been sort of subbing, sort of playing semi-regularly with a group that plays weddings and corporate events and that sort of thing. And the money is anywhere between three to like $700, depending on specifically what the gig is. And at some points I was playing either once or twice a weekend. So you could expect, you know, anywhere from like a grand every week, just playing on the weekend to more or less, depending on what kind of band you find. With this kind of band, of course, you have to be willing to play and hopefully happy to play pop music, requests, and music from a wide variety of genres. So you need to be able to play anything from country to blues to pop to rock to jazz. Um, and I've been uh, asked to play all of those different styles um, with this kind of group. Another idea for you, if you're interested in performing and making money, is playing on a cruise ship. And this is actually something, um, when I was in my junior and senior year of college, this was kind of my plan of what to do right out of school. And I was really preparing myself by working on my chart reading and working on um, just my sight reading in general, working on different styles that I'd be required to play on a cruise ship. Um, and when I say playing on a cruise ship, I mean you might play in a variety of different bands. There are other drummers on YouTube that have way more information on um, playing on cruise ships. And just disclaimer, I haven't played on a cruise ship. I actually ended up not doing that. I ended up going straight into to teaching. But that is something where you could expect to make anywhere from like maybe two to three thousand dollars a month playing on cruise ships and traveling around. Um, again, take everything I say about this with a bit of a grain of salt. And if it's something that you're interested in, thinking, "Wow, I could, you know, I could travel and I could play on a, a cruise ship and basically live on a cruise ship and play drums." And if that sounds good to you, if that sounds interesting, there are definitely two sides to the story, and it's not all fun and games. Um, from what I gather from people that have actually done it, um, so you might want to check out. Um, like I think David Cola is someone on YouTube who has done that extensively. Brandon Scott has done that as well. So go check out their channels if that's something that interests you. So those are three different ways you can make money by performing music, either performing with an originals band, a cover band, or on a cruise ship or in some sort of function like that um, with totally different dollar amounts that you could expect to make from any one of those or any blend of those different situations. And you will want to think, if those are things that are attractive to you, you will want to think about what is required of you as a drummer? What should you be prepared to play? And how do you want to act as far as professionalism goes to be able to function in those situations? I can tell you right now that if you want to be in a higher profile, either cover band, or if you want to, to play on a cruise ship, you need to be professional. You need to have all of those ducks in a row as far as your reading chops, your ability to learn things quickly, your ability to take direction and just be a pleasant person to be around. If you're in an original band, you can be as dysfunctional as the band will allow. That is totally up to you. Uh, an original band is is a totally open ball game. You could make millions of dollars. You can make absolutely no money. You could have a lot of fun doing it. You could have zero fun doing it and everything in between. Okay, so adjacent to playing music, you could also be a session drummer or a recording drummer. And how easy or difficult this is, is really going to depend on where you live, what kind of connections you have in the recording industry, whether you have a recording setup at home, and just how good you are as a recording drummer. It's getting more and more common for folks to record at home. And as you can see, I have a pretty decent recording setup. And on a smaller level, I've done um, 
um, some sessions remotely for folks and have made anywhere from zero dollars if I'm doing it for friends. I've also made, uh, you know, up to a couple hundred bucks for a song or a thousand dollars maybe for a set of songs. People that are doing this more frequently and are in higher demand could definitely make more doing this, but you could also make far less if you don't have a decent setup or if you don't really know what you're doing. This is something where like with the original band, there's certainly the potential to make a lot of money and there's certainly the potential to spend a lot of money on gear and make nothing. So I can't guarantee you anything and I wouldn't advise you to bank on, on being a session recording drummer. Although it is something that absolutely, the more you pursue it and the more passionate you are about it, the more likely you are to actually thrive in that environment. This brings me to a whole other set of topics which I will categorize under not performing drums or not playing drums for money. And this can be a big dividing line for people. For me, I was always interested in a lot of other aspects of drums and the drum industry. I've been interested in teaching, I've been interested in gear, I've been interested in drum sales, I've been interested in drum royalties and recordings. All these other aspects of the industry that are definitely making and generating money, but are of absolutely no interest to some folks. I've had students and I've had folks that I've just talked to that really want to make money playing drums, but they really want to make money playing drums. That is all they want to do. Um, and that's fine and I think as early as possible as you can know that about yourself, whether you are okay doing other things that are adjacent to drums but aren't necessarily performing, or if you strictly want to be a performer. If you like other aspects of the industry, then you are in luck because there are many other creative ways to make money around drums, and many of them are much more reliable as far as what you can expect for a consistent income than performing. The most important to me of this subset is teaching. Teaching was something that I was always interested in, even before I played drums. When I was a kid, I always thought that maybe someday I'd be a teacher, but I didn't exactly know what I would want to teach. And then when I started playing music, it was an obvious fit. So I've always been interested in teaching drums and in teaching music and explaining things. And this is very lucky for me because teaching is one of probably the most reliable ways that you can make money around the drum set. But the big caveat is that you should really want to teach and you should really enjoy teaching if you're going to do it and if you're going to do it for any significant amount of time. Students that are going to pay you money to learn how to play drums from you deserve to have someone that is passionate about teaching and passionate enough about the instrument to explain it and to try and help them with their goals. You'll also have to consider if you're going to be a teacher that you have to at least have a working knowledge of kind of any of the aspects of drumming that students are going to ask you. So you need to know jazz styles, Latin styles, you need to be able to play rock, you need to be able to play fusion, you need to be able to answer a question when someone comes in and says, hey, how does Buddy Rich play this fast? You have to have an answer for them, even if it's not the perfect answer, and even if you can't play as fast as Buddy Rich, I certainly can't, you have to be able to answer all of these questions. So there is definitely a lot of groundwork that needs to be laid, I think, to be able to teach effectively, but there's no reason you can't start even when you're young. I started teaching drums uh, when I was 16. And my lessons were certainly not perfect in the beginning, and they're certainly not perfect now, but teaching is as much of a skill as anything else that we play on the drum set. So you're kind of doing double duty because you have to be good enough at drums and you need to be skilled enough and confident enough in your own playing to be able to actually explain those things and then you need to be confident in yourself enough as a teacher and have that skill set to be able to break things down and connect with students. Now if that's you or if that's something that you're interested in, this is the sort of thing that um, is fairly reliable and you can get uh, a job either at a facility that will get you students or you can go out on your own and all you really need is a drum set or two drum sets and a space to teach in and you can put out ads and you can start getting students and you can charge whatever you want. Um, I'd say you can make anywhere from like 20 bucks an hour on the low end all the way up to like 100, 150 bucks uh, an hour depending on really how in demand you are and you can make a really solid decent living uh, teaching drums if you are able to retain and get enough students and you enjoy doing it. Teaching of course is something that you can also blend in with performing and playing and recording and all these things that I like to take part in. I'm really not spending all of my time doing any one of these things. It's, it's mostly a blend but teaching is probably what I'm 
spending the most time doing and where the most consistent chunk of my income is coming from. If you have other interests or passions, there's no reason you can't combine any of those with just drumming and the drumming industry. The drum industry is like any other in that it needs accountants and it needs uh, communications majors and it needs managers and it needs all these things. All of those different skill sets will typically apply in one way or another to the drum world. You might work in the marketing department at DW. Maybe you shoot videos for Minol. Maybe you work in a drum shop. Maybe you just want to do sales. Working in a drum shop is a great way to just hang out around drums all day, learn the business, and then also talk to other drummers and just nerd out on gear. If you're working in a drum shop, you could make anywhere from like 13 bucks an hour to uh, anything like 25, 30 bucks an hour. And if you have higher profile jobs, like at any of these larger companies like DW, Ludwig, you might be making more. I will say that the drumming industry, although it is a legitimate industry, is certainly not the biggest industry out there and there isn't a ton of money flowing through it. So you might have friends that are getting jobs at Google and Amazon and Microsoft and even if you have similar job titles, because you're in the drum world, your paychecks are not going to look the same as theirs. Other ideas of things that you could do in the industry, you could start your own drum shop, you could be buying and selling drums, you could be working with vintage drums specifically, you could start making drums, you could start making cymbals, I don't know. There are tons of options out there just depending on what seems interesting to you and what aligns with your skill set or a skill set that you'd like to acquire. Another thing that you could investigate to potentially make money is social media. Now, obviously I have some experience in that because I'm here on this channel and you're watching. Um, and this is another one of those things like playing in an original band that I would highly recommend doing it for the love of it or just for the inherent enjoyment if it's something that you are considering just for the money. I wouldn't do it for that reason. And truly, I operate on this YouTube channel just because I like making videos and I like talking about drums and I like investigating these different questions that I pose to myself and I pose to you. So I'm really here just to make videos that I think that I would enjoy. And I am making some money doing it. And I'm happy to break down those actual numbers so you can see if it's something that you should pursue or not. Through ad revenue right now, I make anywhere between like 50 and 100 bucks a month. Uh, yes, a month on watching ads. And if you watch the ads, thank you, you in small part help pay for these videos getting made. Um, I also have an affiliate link with Soundbrenner that you know, you've know you probably seen in, in other videos. And if someone buys um, anything from Soundbrenner's site, I get a cut of that sale. And interestingly, I've actually made far more on that than I have on YouTube through AdSense. Um, I've probably made between a thousand and two thousand dollars um, from you know giving that discount code out to folks. I also sell sample packs, and I've probably made I don't know a few hundred bucks from that over the course of a year or a couple of years. So certainly nothing that's sustaining, but it's sort of all part of a I guess a bigger picture. And those things like the sample packs that I've been making, and you know the YouTube channel. It's all mostly for fun. I'm really not trying to make a lot of money doing this. Um, I'm doing it because I enjoy it. And if more money comes out of it down the line, that's great. So there are some ideas for you. Certainly this was not an exhaustive list, but hopefully you got a few ideas out of this that maybe you hadn't thought of before. And again, if you are really thinking about this as a career path, or if you're already kind of into it and you want to start making more money playing drums, hopefully this was somewhat helpful for you and you're really going to want to do the hard thinking of like, okay, what out of all those ideas do I want to do? And realistically, how much could I expect to make doing that thing, sort of, you know, given the numbers, the, the rough numbers that I had for you, and think, what blend of those things could I cobble together to make a decent income? You can do some basic math depending on if you want to try and work at a drum shop during the day, maybe teach a few lessons in the evenings, and then every so often on a weekend you're playing a show. You can roughly calculate what your income might be, and then you want to ask that hard question, is that an amount of money that I would be happy making if that is my lifestyle? I'll be totally transparent that a good chunk of my income comes from all of these things that, uh, that I just described, a blend uh, of all of those different avenues, but Another good chunk of my income comes from uh, video editing and doing video projects for people and working with video companies and also teaching videography. So that is something that I actually tend to make on average definitely more dollars per hour uh, doing video stuff than doing drum stuff. But 
that's life. That's the reality of is that certain industries are going to pay better than others. And the drum industry at large is not a terribly high paying industry. That said, if you value your time and your happiness on a day to day basis, that might be a trade off that you are either willing to partially or fully make. So again, hopefully this is helpful to some of you. I am more than happy to speak about this kind of thing transparently. A lot of people uh, get wigged out talking about money and finances and specifics. It doesn't bother me at all. And it's the sort of thing that I think is really important to speak about explicitly if this is the sort of industry that you're interested in getting into. So I'm more than happy to answer any questions in the comments or if there's something that you want me to talk more about at length, um, just let me know and I'm happy to make another video about it. But again, hopefully you took something out of this. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.